Hello, Dr. Joe here. Now, you're going to pattern the noise from the cars because I'm right here in a supermarket car park. And the reason I'm here is that uh, uh, it's about a story that I want to share with you guys because I came across something that uh, I felt was a missed opportunity and I want to fix that. So, the story is that um, I came to this uh, supermarket about two days ago. This is a supermarket that is close to the hospital where I work. Uh, it is not the supermarket that I normally shop. You know, this is not my local supermarket, but uh, because it's close to my hospital, sometimes I come here to pick up one or two items every now and again. So, um, you know, once in a blue moon. And uh, two days ago was uh, that blue moon, if you like. So I was here uh, to pick up some items, like I said. And uh, as I was walking through the aisle, the fruit aisle, I came across a particular fruit that I hadn't seen before. I have to say, I have not seen this fruit before. I had a quick look at it, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. I walked past it. And uh, for me, I felt that was a missed opportunity because I'm somebody who likes to try something new every time. So if I come across something new, especially a new food, I want to really try my hands on it. So I left the supermarket that day, but when I got home, I never really felt easy with myself because I felt uh, it was a missed opportunity and I needed to come back to see that fruit because the point is that this fruit is not available in my local supermarket hence I've not really come across it before so uh, this is close to where I work and there uh, of course uh, two days later I was on call yesterday and I couldn't come back so today I am back here now uh, to really source this uh, very fruit so um, now, this fruit looks like, um, you know, it's, it's got a hue that, that is close to that of a strawberry. Um, the, the color is a dull red color, if you like. And um, it, it, it's not very attractive, I have to say. But that was the attraction for me. That's the irony, okay? The fact that it had this dull red color, not quite the strawberry color, that was the attraction for me. And uh, that's the reason I'm back here today and I really want to pick up this fruit because I want to know what it is and uh, really get close to it and test it out for myself as well. I need to test it out. So uh, let's go inside the, the, the supermarket now and uh, I'll pick up uh, this fruit. Hopefully if it is still there. I've not been inside yet so uh, I'll go inside and find out if it is still there. Let's go. <music> So here we are. Uh, I got my hands on the fruit. Here it is. Okay. Um, I'm going to reveal the fruit to you in the car once I get it. So I'm pretty pleased about that that I got uh, my hands on the fruit. There we go. So I'm back in the car now and it's time for the big reveal. What is this fruit that has held my attention in the last two days? Let's find out what this fruit is. And uh, here it is. It's called lychee, okay? Lychee. That's the fruit there. And on the pack here, it says it's a produce of South Africa. So uh, this fruit has traveled all the way from South Africa to the supermarket that is just a couple of minutes away from the hostel where I work. And um, I feel privileged uh, to lay my hands on this very fruit. So much so that I actually picked up two packs, okay? I got myself two packs. So uh, let's see uh, what this fruit is going to taste like. I'm looking forward to really testing it out and uh, also to see what the texture feels like and uh, more importantly to do some research on it uh, to see what kind of benefits I could get uh, from consuming this very lychee fruit. So uh, that's the next step. So uh, let's uh, go test it out. So here we are back at home now here are my lychee fruits in a bowl and uh, what is left to do now is for me to uh, taste it and uh, also get a feel for the texture and then after that we're going to do some research into uh, what benefits there are uh, in consuming the lychee fruit oh, by the way i think some people pronounce it as lychee so lychee lychee you know it's up to you 
Uh, now, before I get to test it, I should say something about uh, uh, something that happened in the supermarket when I got in. I spoke to one of the shop assistants to ask him about uh, this lychee fruit. I wanted to know more about it. And uh, he said, according to him, uh, he said, uh, well, you know, that the mom, the grandmother, uh, offered it to him as a seven-year-old. And uh, he ate it then and he didn't like it. <laughs> and he hasn't uh, eaten it again ever since. He looks like a guy in his 30s. So uh, I gotta say that was not very complimentary. That wasn't what I was expecting to hear. But I admired his honesty. Uh, the fact that he said what he felt. So um, yeah, so that's not a very good start. That said, I've got a fruit here and uh, I have no choice. I've got to test it because that is the mission. So uh, let me uh, cut into it, I suppose. Uh, now, I have to say that um, I always wash my fruits before I eat them. And uh, washing this uh, is quite harsh on the hands, really harsh, uh, because it's uh, this peel is quite uh, a little bit spiky. I won't say it's quite spiky, it's just a little bit spiky. So uh, let's cut into it. Uh, I, I don't know what to expect. Like I told you guys, I've never seen this fruit before until uh, two days ago and uh, this is the first time I'm having it uh, in my house uh, so there we go uh, it looks quite nice it's shiny uh, it looks like it's got an inner seed I, I can see there it's got an inner seed so this is the peel it is possible that this peel has medicinal properties but I don't think you can consume it the way it is because uh, uh, it's probably gonna bruise uh, your uh, oral mucosa so uh, probably not a good idea for you to be able to eat a peel I suppose you may have to blend it or something like that I don't know so how about I'm just learning how to uh, peel it now ah, it's coming out easily so that's good uh, let's put a couple here before I go ahead and uh, test it I'm really looking forward to this I have to say so let's see uh, maybe my technique of peeling it is not the ideal one. Those of you who have been uh, eating this lychee fruit uh, or lychee, uh, you let me know about how to peel it. Maybe I'm doing it all wrong, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. We've got a couple of uh, lychee fruits here. Um, you can see them. Uh, they are shaped like eggs. <laughs> now, what is it going to be like? I'm really looking forward to it. Look at it. It's got an inner seed, it will appear. So uh, let me bite into it because, like I told you guys, I've never seen this fruit before uh, up until two days ago. And this is my first time actually tasting it. So uh, let's see. I, I cannot wait. It does actually have a seed. You can see it there. So that's a seed. Um, it tastes sweet, but not too sweet. Um, it's got a texture of uh, Probably a cherry, a cherry fruit, yeah. And uh, it's got this seed inside it, or a peach if you like, like a cherry. Yeah, and the texture is really like that of cherry. It'll be creamy. My little complaint about it so far is that uh, the seed is too big. The seed is too big, meaning. I don't have enough flesh. <laughs> I need more flesh. The flesh is not plentiful. So that's my little complaint about it. Like any other fruit, it's quite refreshing. Especially when you have a, a, a bit of flesh. Um, it is a nice fruit. It's quite refreshing. 
I wonder what it will feel like if you keep it in the refrigerator and it's cold as well. It will be really quite refreshing. Uh, I like it. The texture is quite decent. It's like that of a cherry. Um, obviously, it's got this seed, which in my opinion is too big, but it's nobody's fault. That's nature's design. Uh, what that means is uh, the, uh, the flesh is not plentiful. So, uh, other than that, I got no problems with it, and I think yeah, it's, it's quite uh, a nice fruit to uh, add to uh, one's diet if it's available where you live. Um, so, uh, that's the tasting done now. Uh, the next thing we're going to do now is let's have a look at uh, the science to see uh, if there are any benefits from uh, you know, having this fruit, from consuming this fruit uh, for all it's worth. So, let's go have a look. So, to examine the science uh, regarding lychee fruit, uh, what I do is I come to the National Library of Medicine uh, website, which is a database that has millions and millions of publications, and I just type in uh, lychee uh, fruit and uh, go ahead and uh, uh, look at uh, the results that are on display. So, uh, let, we've got 521 results, so I'm just going to pick a few uh, to uh, talk about. So the uh, next let's... paper we're going to look at is this one here that was published in Drug Discoveries and Therapeutics and it's titled Oligonol, a low molecular weight polyphenol derived from lychee fruit attenuates glucolipotoxicity mediated renal disorder in type 2 diabetic mice. Uh, now I'm not going to take you through the entire paper. Let's just scroll down to uh, the conclusion uh, in this abstract. It says, um, the present study provides important evidence that oligonol, which is the polyphenol that we're talking about here, uh, exhibits pleiotropic effect. Pleiotropic means a diverse uh, effect representing renal protective effect against the development of diabetic complications in type 2 diabetic mice. Now, this was an animal study. However, uh, it seems to be telling us that uh, uh, the oligonol, which is the polyphenol that is present in lychee fruit, has uh, you know diverse effects uh, that protects the kidneys from uh, damage from diabetes. Uh, and that can only be a good thing. So, uh, uh, another positive here for uh, lychee fruit. So one more paper here that was published in Nutritional Neuroscience, uh, published not too long ago too, and it's titled Flavanol Rich Lychee Fruit Extract Substantially Reduces Progressive Cognitive and Molecular Deficits in a Triple Transgenic Animal Model of Alzheimer's Disease. Uh, so this was also an animal experiment. Essentially, what this paper is saying is that uh, uh, the oligonol, which is the polyphenol in uh, lychee fruit, uh, if you use the oligonol extract, uh, at least in this animal model anyway, it does reduce uh, the progression of Alzheimer's disease uh, and uh, also progression of uh, you know cognitive impairment. So. Uh, also, another big tick here for uh, Almighty Lychee Fruit. So, the next study we're going to look at is this one here that was published in Physical Activity and Nutrition Journal uh, in 2021, and it's titled Oligomerized Polyphenols in Lychee Fruit Extract Supplements uh, May Improve High Intensity Exercise Performance in Male Athletes, a pilot study. Uh, so, essentially, uh, this was uh, a study where they administered the lychee fruit extract to 10 male athletes uh, over a seven-day period and then subjected them to high-intensity exercise. So, if we just scroll down to uh, the conclusion here, it says, uh, short-term loading with oligomerized lychee fruit extract may increase performance during high intensity intermittent exercise by improving metabolism. So essentially this uh, very study seems to be saying that uh, uh, if you want to boost your performance, uh, use lychee fruit extract. So there you go, some nice benefits there. I'm particularly interested in uh, the uh, fact that 
this fruit may help with dealing with diabetes. So for me, that is a big plus. Uh, and generally speaking, I like the fruit. And like I said before in the review, uh, when I tasted it, my only problem with it is the fact that uh, uh, the flesh is not really enough. Uh, too much of a seed than flesh. Uh, I would have preferred the, the reverse, as in more flesh and a smaller seed. But that is nature's design. Uh, there's nothing we can do about that. Now, what I want you guys to do is uh, let me know if you're somebody who's been uh, using this lychee fruit uh, before. Uh, let me know what you've done with it. Uh, do you just consume it the way I did now? Or do you do something else with it? i like some ideas, please. So if you've got any ideas on how to use the lychee fruit, uh, do let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, so uh, hopefully you got some value from this very video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video. And also please share this video with your friends, your family, with your colleagues. Uh, if you've got any questions, any comments, like I said, I want to know, those of you who have been consuming lychee fruit in the past, I want to know what you did with it, how you eat it, and what your views are regarding lychee fruit. Uh, I think that's about it. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.